So in this video, I'm going to show instructors how to deploy and use a software option in Canvas called Student Connect. And Student Connect allows you to set up appointments for office hours with students. So the first thing that you need to do, I am in my course, you're going to need to go to settings because it is automatically hidden and you need to unhide it in your course navigations. So I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to find it. It's Student Connect here. I'm going to make sure I'm dragging it to the top banks. So there it is. I'm going to click on Save. So that will allow me to see the Student Connect in my Canvas course menu over here. Next, I'm going to click on Student Connect. The one thing that I want to mention to you is that Student Connect is configured with Zoom. And so you want to make sure you have your email settings set to default at your LACCD edu email address and let me just go ahead and really quickly show you what that looks like so if you go into account and you click on settings over here in the right I've got gossip d .laccd edu and there is a star so that lets me know that my default email address is my laccd email address and this will allow me to work with student connect so let's go back to student connect here and the next thing I want to do, or the first thing that I want to do is click continue. And I want to go over here to account settings. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see. Um, and my account settings are going to allow me to set uh, settings for my student meetings. So the first thing I want to click on is personalization. You want to choose whatever language. I'm going to choose English. I'm going to choose a smooth theme. Um, but the most important thing is you want to make sure you're setting the correct time zone. I'm in Los Angeles, so I'm going to make sure this is set to Los Angeles. And then I'm going to click on my email settings next. In this email settings, you want to make sure it's going to have your LACCD email. But if you want messages sent to an additional email, you can add that as well here. This is where you would add your personal email if you want messages sent when a student books an appointment. I'm going to leave that blank for now. The other thing that they have available is email subscriptions. And it's really neat because you can have your email, you can be emailed um, when a student signs up for an appointment. So I have set my default to set me a reminder 30 minutes before every calendar invite. And also I have the system sending me an email noting me, notifying me of any changes. Um, and lastly, I get a schedule itinerary every day at 8 p.m. Now you can change these settings if you want them weekly or whatever the case may be. But this is how I have my settings. So once you change your email settings, the system will notify you based on these settings when you have an appointment set up. Next is your personal calendar integration. So this is a uh, link that will allow you to integrate this with your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar and your Outlook Calendar. Um, we're not going to do that in this video for the sake of time, but that is an option as well. And as you can see, my account is associated. So we're all good to go. So all of these settings will be built into my overview uh, of my settings. Next, I'm going to go to the appointment booking tab. And this is where I'm going to create the slots where my students will be able to create appointments. So I'm going to click on where it says offer slots. And I have choices. I'm creating this for myself. And I want to repeat daily. Um, and I want these to be Monday through Thursday. My office hours are from 9.30 to 11 a.m. So I've got 9.30 to 11 a.m. I have slot durations of 15 minutes. And I actually have the option of having this be set in all of my courses or just this one particular course. I'm going to choose all of my courses because I like students to be able to have the ability, um, oh, not 11 p.m., 11 a.m., the ability to make an appointment any day Monday through Thursday. So I've got 
Tuesday, October 26th, and I'm going to take this all the way until the end of the semester, which is going to be on the 19th. So it's from 9.30 to 11, and then once I'm done, I can click on Save. So as you see, there are these bookable slots that students can now book appointments from. And what's nice is that students in all of my courses will be able to see these appointments and book the appointments. So I've come back to my Student Connect after I received a notice that a student has made an appointment. And I see they made an appointment for 545. So I'm going to open up the window for 545 and I'm going to click on Host. This allows my Zoom application. I'm going to choose the application. I want to choose Zoom. It allows my Zoom application to launch a meeting by which my student will be able to meet with me. And this is the best way for you to be able to connect with your students using Student Connect. Thanks for watching.